And hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft with your truly the Hermit Hood. How you guys all out there doing today? Um, first of all, I kind of went out and did a little exploration looking for a village. Had no luck, went online and did some little bit of research to see if there was any villages added to the game. And I feel like a little bit of a putz because there was. Um, all those pillagers we've been having in our area, well... It's very likely that we actually might have one right here in this area. Um, there was a snow, there was a snowy tundra village added to the game. Now, I don't know where this thing is, but we're going to go up there. We're going to look around and we're going to see where this thing might very well be. But first things first. I'm going to hop down there, obviously, and we're going to go grab that, because uh, I got, <laughs> I got uh, squid, I don't know what is going on with them, but they just seem to be wanting to have a little bit of fun of their own accord lately. They just seem to be coming down that hill and just dropping, and I don't know. All right, so... Last episode, if you guys remember, towards the end of it, um, there, I ran across some pillagers, and they were trying to get up a hillside. Now, that hillside, it seems as if they were stuck there to me. I'm not sure why, but it looked like they were stuck, and that looked like it was over here somewhere. Okay, let's see if we can locate where that might be, very well be. Okay, so there was Taiga Villages added, and there was, where was that? Because I remember seeing them, they were stuck, and they couldn't get up. I think it was over there, because I had to cross the river to get over here. Um, yeah, I think it was right over there. Alright, so let's get down, and then we're going to see if we can climb up there. Yeah, player hurts. Player hurts. <laughs> there we go. Let's get up there if we can. All right. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we goes. And we might run across something else too. So over here we were running across some pillagers. And they were trying to locate something. They were just like stuck in a circle, you know, trying to work their way across, trying to find something. They couldn't locate it. It was here, but they couldn't locate it. So this is telling me there might be a, there might be a village around here. Now it could be one of two types of villages. Come on, llamas, move. Come on, move. This is telling me there very well might be a snow village around here. We just haven't been able to find it. And shut up, zombie. I just want to find it. So we're going to have ourselves a look around here. See if we can find this together. I hear a zombie. And our job is to find this village. I'm hoping it's not one that's inside of the mountains. Because though it would be an interesting find. I want to turn these mountain ranges into a castle. So I'm thinking there has to be a uh, village up around our base somewhere. I just don't know where to look. We're going to have to turn our uh, computer. Shut up. I can hear that thing screaming. 
Uh, it's starting to sound like a zombie of its own. All right, done. Back to the game. Turn that up a little bit. Here, give me a moment. Let me turn my fan on to shut my computer up. All right. There we go. That should mute it up a good bit. All right. If we can't find this within the first 10 minutes, then I'm going to use a command for forward, that's called forward slash locate village. And we might be able to find it. Now, there is a plains biome over there. And that's where I was out exploring at before. But I'm thinking there has to be a... Uh, the, okay, here's where my base is, right there. Okay, so this is where I want to build my castle. Is pretty much right on top of this ridge, right there. Okay, now I've been having pillagers spawn like in this vicinity like right over in here and i've had them spawning over in there on the other side of that and i don't know why they've been spawning over there so what our job today is to do is to see if we can figure out why okay there has to be a reason for them to be spawning around here and the only reason pillagers would be spawning around is if there is, well, a village. I mean, there's no, there's no other reason for it unless there's an outpost around here or something. And I'm not seeing that. So we're going to stay up here on top of these ridges, see if we can work our way around them. Because there's my base right over there. Okay, so let's work our way up this way. Let's go this way a little bit. Because you can see we're in the taiga. Alright, can I somehow work my way up over there? Yeah, I can. You can see a tree that's despawning over there. We might even run across some snow foxes. That would be cool. But there must be a village around here. It's the only explanation for seeing pillagers like spawning over in here. There has to be a reason for it. Even if it's just a, a zombie village. It's worth looking. Now this looks a little bit weird. Because this is like a perfectly square region right here. You know? Pardon me. Yeah, this is where, he, this is where we've seen him at. Because he was just like walking in circles as if he couldn't find nothing. And this thing is perfectly square, as if there should be something here, but we're not seeing it. And I'm not seeing any pillagers. Now would be a good time to have a bad omen. <laughs> yeah, now would be a good time for it. All right, let's get ourselves a nap. We're going to place a bed this way that we know to keep going this way. All right, come on, come on, go down already. Come on, sometime today. Come on, you're wasting time. Oh, goodness, come on. I got a big project I want to work on in this game, and I can't exactly do that with the, uh, all right, keep an eye out. I want to see if we can find some 
berries too. <gasps> ah. Huh? 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 So he is invisible. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Huh? Wait, so you're the entire reason I got... Dude! A sea pickle for two... Acacia saplings, red tulips, blue ice. My goodness, why is this guy always... Why are these guys always such a pain in the butt? Huh? Here, move your butt over. And then he just goes and works his way over like, uh, what are you going to do now? Can you help me out here, bud? <laughs> yeah, I can help you out. How's this? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. I can help you out. No problem. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Huh? He can't get out and neither can his friends. Oh, he's nice and safe now. All right, we should probably put something in there for him. All right, let's put a torch in there. There we go. He, he'll stay nice and safe, guys. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see here. Give me a dirt pillar. And slap this on top. And he's right beneath this tree. All right, I'm going to F3 and F2 these cords because my other guy disappeared on me. And Wandering Trader mumbles. Yeah, go ahead and mumble, you big jerk. You know, so he's the whole reason we got... No, you can't be the only reason. All right, let's go ahead and let's continue going around and see if we can locate a reason why. I mean, he, it's impossible. You can't be the only reason we had i uh, I'm gonna hate to drop you down a shaft of water. Please don't make me drop you down a shaft of water. Oh, he won't stay there, he'll despawn. If I leave the chunks, he'll despawn. If I had a name tag, I can name him. I think that's how that works. All right, we'll have to find out. I got more, I got more, I got more, here he goes. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna light this whole thing up like this. You know, this should keep him nice and safe. There we go. And I should be able to find it. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. You know, let's see if we can locate another reason. Please tell me that villager is not the entire reason we had... We do got a nice tundra, but 
Who would have known that the, snow, the uh, berries would be this rare? It's like they're not even spawning. Huh. Okay, you know what? We're going to do this just once. All right, give it a moment. 800, 722 blocks away. I told you guys this. I told you. This village is relatively very too... What did that thing say, um, T? That thing said it was 800 and... Uh, 321. 832. All right, let's. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, don't know what happened there, but oh, we got a bell. We got a bell. <laughs> uh, that thing, you can see a hitbox on it. I don't know why. All right, but uh, Village looks awfully pretty cool. I like it. You got kitty cats in the area. Nice. Um, sun's going down. The first thing I seen when I came over here, apart from me dying, was this and it looked pretty cool i'm not sure why we died but ooh, uh that doesn't look good oh hi we got a farmer hey would you like to come work for me i want to test some theories um <laughs> first things first is i want to take a nap and I don't want to stay. I know you do not want to stay in these villages very, very long at all. Um, come on, game. All right. Let me go ahead and take a nap here, guys. And come on. Come on, sun. It's sunset. How how deep do you need to go? How deep do you need to go, cow moose? Hi. Hi. I'm willing to bet I know exactly where we are, too. Uh, we're across a river. We are still close to home, but I know where we are because there is the mountains right there. Uh, we're just right across the river. I should have known this. I just didn't see it. I don't know how I didn't see this. I, if only I had come down here and crossed the river, I would have seen this. But we do have a village. So this is the reason we got pillagers in the mountains. Aww. Hi there, good sir. Oh, you're a cartographer. Oh, I love the monocle. <laughs> I love the monocle on your face. I love the monocle. And you got some cows. You better get to breeding them. All right, we got ourselves this guy. You're a farmer, I bet. Yep. Okay, yeah, you're a farmer. All right. Um, do you guys got crops? You know, before you end up with a ravager in your kingdom, I think I would love to uh, kind of borrow some of your crops if you would be, ever be so kind. Uh, what do we got here? All right, what do you have here? Seriously? Is this all you have is just wheat? You gotta have something bigger. Huh. 
This is all you guys have is just wait. Well, I guess I can come out here and secure the village now that I know that it's here. Ooh, hello. Oh, hello, what is this? All right, you can keep your leather armor and your uh, booties and all that other stuff and things. All right, um, what kind of building is this? Huh. I like it. I love the new villages. And they actually come with beds. I wonder if the villagers will actually go to sleep now. And they all come with loot. Okay. I, actually, I need books. Um, and I do got a recipe for the uh, apples. Um, I brought my data pack over from my first world. And guys, I think it's pretty cool. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Let's see what we got here. What's in this fella's house? Um, what do you got here, bud? You don't have much? No? Okay. Um, do you have much? No. All right. I wonder if you can still build... Uh, hi there, guys. You're a cartographer. You're a cartographer. You're a farmer. Okay. So I got a place I can bring wheat. Nice. Um, you don't have anything. All right. Nice to know. Um, I love these houses. I love these little houses. They look so cool. It is such a shame. You guys really don't have any way, anything in the way of farms. But what is this? <gasps> Potatoes. Thank you for your potatoes. I can grow those. We got a new crop, guys. We got a new crop. All right. So apart from this thing over here, we got a new crop. Um, hopefully the villagers, they don't get angry. I heard there's supposed to be some sort of new AI about you stealing from them or something like that. Um, I don't want to have anything like that, but we're definitely going to take the potatoes. Close the door here. Close the door. I don't want to sleep in his bed. And here's a wandering trader again, right here. Hi there, good sir. What do you got? You sell lily pads. I got a forest. You sell sand? Roses, dark oak saplings. I can sell those to you. Um, you sell blue ice, but you don't sell anything else. You're such a meanie. Um, all right. Well, let's see what the, what's inside this place right here, you know? And then we'll take a look at that one right there. Whoa! Um, guys, you got a whole... Oh, my goodness, yeah. Um, you got a raid coming up. A smoker with a chimney. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, they have a raid coming up. Let's see what we can do about protecting them from that. I can get emeralds. I could just as easily just drop down there and get them, but I'm not going to. We'll protect our villagers, and we got to get out of here before this place gets ravaged. All right, let's get up here. Let's see what is inside this place. Nothing much. Okay. Yeah, we got to get out of this village. Uh, you are summoning these things. Get out of here, wandering traitor. I, I got to get out of here, too. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for your trades, but I will return at a later time. I really don't want to bring you guys bad luck. Um, we have a village, guys, and I know where it is. I... Goodness gracious, I even know where I am. All right, so to even get back home, my goodness, I was over here. I feel like such a fool. All right, so shut up. To get back home, if I am correct, 
all I have to do is come up here and just keep walking this and it should take me all the way back home. I mean, yeah, that's quite exactly all I have to do is just this. And it would take me all the way back home. Because see, there's the initial planes biome. I believe that's it right there. I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll use these to act to uh, show the chunks. This will take us to the village. All right, so we're going to go ahead and place that there. And this is the plains biome that I came down inside of to explore. Because I recognize this along with that big thing over there. All I have to do is just follow this home. This. All right, let's just get down here into the water. Here we goes. And we should be able to find our way over there to it, which means I can build a bridge to it. Not only do I know my way to the village, but now I know my way home. <laughs> Here, munch this down. Just shut, jam it down your throat. All right. And we'll go ahead. We'll put this piece right here. Yeah, here's that big area we were overlooking before. Which means we're very close to home. I know we're not activating the new chunks. But this is just on the other end. I think so. It looks like it. Yeah. I'm right. We should be able to find our way home from here. Because this should take us towards the dark oak forest. I think so. Alright, let me get myself oriented and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, when I went out exploring off camera without you guys, there was a swamp over here, and I seen this dark oak forest. Now, it, this arc, dark oak forest takes you out pretty much right over top, all right? So, <laughs> oh, I can't believe I didn't do this the first time. So... I seen this over here and I was a little bit of afraid to like go out and explore over it. And it turns out our village is like right over the edge of this because I seen the swamp biome over here and on my way home, I just like, I couldn't figure out where I was. So I brought up some screenshots to like kind of locate where I was and as I was coming home, I kind of came across my uh, swamp biome. And I was just like, wait a second. I know where I am. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I came across this thing on my way back to base. And <clears throat> I wanted to gather a couple of things up out of here. So... Yeah, this is a swamp biome that we have right near our base. I'm not sure if there's any witch huts or anything in here of that sort, but I was going in the total opposite direction. I found myself a redwood forest and all that stuff and things. I was activating chunks like you wouldn't believe. And yeah, I'm now headed back the right way to get back to base and... 
<laughs> I can go ahead and turn my F3 cords off now that I know where I am. I can't believe I did that. Yeah, so here's our lava pool where we first entered down into this. And there should have been cobblestone over here, but I kind of took that down. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead, we're going to hop up over here, and I now know how to get to the village. So whenever we gather ourselves up enough wheat or anything of that sort, I could come over here and start grabbing up some villagers and bringing them back home. Um, that was kind of nice to find. We did, whoa, uh, that's right. I am so sorry you guys see me in creative. Um, I did that intentionally to uh, locate where I was, and that's how I did that. We're going to go ahead and fix that, and game mode, survival, yeah. Let's go ahead and fix that. Let's get back to base. Um, I couldn't, like I said, guys, I got lost. I didn't know where I was, but now that I know where I am... <laughs> Um, I'm headed back base and I'm going to try not to make that mistake again, but yeah, we do got some potatoes. That's a good thing. That was a creative inventory. You guys see, I, I'm not spawning anything in guys. I'm not doing anything. Whoa. Hello. Hello, Cole. Hello, Stone. Um, I'm not doing anything out of, out of that sort or anything like that. I just want I'm going to keep this in survival the entire time. I needed to go into creative to kind of locate where I was and, you know, fly around, get an idea of my area. And now I got a bunch of chunks that I have to go into MC edit and delete so that we'd be okay because I ran across a few biomes that we really should not have been anywhere near, but we ended up near them anyways. Here we go. If we just follow this river, it should take us all the way back home. Ah, finally. It's good to be back. And there's our cobblestone right there from pillaring up earlier. Ha ha. But this will take us all the way back home, which is a good thing. You can hear the squid swimming, me swimming, and uh, everything else. <laughs> uh, that was quite the adventure. I'm glad to be going head back home. <laughs> At least it's the right way, and it's not the wrong way that you guys would have missed. And here we are, finally. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I was like... a. Eh, why I was like, oh my goodness, if I bring this up, guys, and I hit the escape key for a second, I was at X like 500 and Z like 1000. I got a lot of chunks I gotta delete, so yeah, that way they can re that way when the game officially releases. We'll be okay. I know where a lot of the biomes are in the game right now, especially on this map. And it seems kind of cheaty because I had to uh, fly around to see if I can locate where I was. Um, we still got our other stuff and things. More beef for days. Um, these things, we gather, we gather all that stuff legitly. We got some potatoes, which I'm going to go over here, and I am going to get these things started because our little piggies, they will happily eat these. And that means we can add on to the farms. So where can I add on? I want to wait. I want some carrots. I want some rhubarb um, or whatever that thing is that they added. So... Yeah, I want to get this up and going, get a good chunk of them up and going. How many eggs do we got? Not a lot, because we had to leave the area. But, guys, today was quite the adventure. Really, it was. Um, thank you for being there with me, honestly. I love it. I love this game. And I got a little bit of a challenge. Something I want to do. Um, yeah, I got something I want to do. And I think you guys are going to like it too. Um, what that something is, let me get away from these chickens. All right. 
what that something is, is if you guys have ever heard of Minecraft, okay? Well, dude over there, he's been digging himself a really big farm that goes all the way down to bedrock. What I want to do is, I want to, I'm thinking of doing something similar to that, but we want to go bigger. <laughs> we want to go bigger. We want one the same exact dimensions, but we want to go bigger. We want one for potatoes. We want one for every crop in the game. And we want to do that the whole way down the bedrock. Where we're going to do that, I don't know. But I'm thinking I'm going to do something like that. Maybe, I don't know. It's going to take a lot of time. That's a whole lot of digging. But guys, that's a lot of resources. That's a lot. <laughs> Which means I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. So I'll see you guys on the flip side. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Later.